session on Ansys Workbench tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the piston head for its structural and thermal analysis combined together. We will start by double clicking on structural analysis. We will first go to engineering data, engineering data sources, general materials. I am using aluminium alloy as a material. You can use any other material as well. I will go to project and update project. In my previous analysis, I have already shown you that nickel chrome alloy is another material which can be used for piston head. There are many other materials which can be used. I am just using aluminium alloy for this analysis because I just want to show you how a coupled analysis of structural and thermal can be done. So my motto is not to analyze more number of materials and compare them in this session at least. So I have already done that in the previous classes. You can just go through the videos. I will next go to geometry and right click. Import geometry pistol head. I will give you the link for this model such that you can also use it. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry and change the assignment of material to aluminium alloy. Next, I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing to fine and update. I'll first go to static structural and insert fix support. On these two faces, apply. On this surface, I am going to insert pressure. So, right click and insert pressure on these faces. Now, I'll just change normal to, to component, and this direction is Z. So, along Z axis, I'm going to apply pressure. Maximum pressure that is applied on the piston head varies from 5 to 10 megapascal. So I'll just give a value of say 10 megapascal. Now since it is in the downward direction, I'll add a minus sign to it. Next I'll go to solution and I will insert deformation total. I also want to see the deformation directional along Z axis. I will insert strain equivalent stress and in tools I am going to insert stress tool. Since I am using aluminium alloy, I can also see the fatigue which is present in this material. So I just click on fatigue tool such that I can know what is the life of this piston head. I will go to mean stress theory and I will change this to Goodman theory. Next, I'll go to fatigue tool and right click. I'll insert life and I also want to see the damage. Next, I'll go to solution and solve. The first result is of total deformation. You can see the maximum value is 0.45429 in this zone. The unit is mm. Minimum value is 0. Where you have applied fix, the deformation will be least. Next, we will go for directional deformation. The value is 0 0.006176 mm. You can animate and check your result. This is the maximum value. Minimum value is minus 0 0.45428 mm. If you want to see the results, just click on max min, you will figure out where the value is maximum and where it is 
minimum. Again, click on both of them so the options can disappear. Next, we'll see the equivalent strain. The value is 0 0.00789. It is a very small value. Though this is the maximum one, the minimum value is 2.0827 and 10 raised to minus 6, which means it is extremely small. You can animate and check the result. Next, we'll go to equivalent stress. The maximum stress generated is 559.89 megapascal over the body. Minimum value is 0 0.10782 megapascal. You can see where the value is more and where it is less by the color of it. Next, I'll go to stress tool and check the safety factor. You can just click here. And click on the plus sign so that the values just open up for your comparison. So you can see the maximum value is 15 here. So there are certain areas which are going to be absolutely safe and there are certain cases where the value of safety factor is 0 0.5 that is in these zones. Now 0 0.5 is actually quite small so the amount of safety that is given is quite less you could say. So if these zones are more then obviously it is preferable to go for another type of material. Aluminium alloy as we have discussed many times in many analysis that it is cheaper and it is light in weight, hence it is preferred. But it is not a hard and fast tool that you have to use it if you want to invest a little more in it. And if you want to increase the safety factor, if you want to increase the life, you should definitely go for a better material. Okay, so if you see here, the life is 1 into 10 raised to 8. That is the highest value. But in certain zones, it is 0 also, which means it is not that safe to use under this pressure so you can see that in certain places the damage value is quite minimum but in certain cases your damage value is quite high so you need to be careful about those areas so that's how you analyze for structural analysis using aluminium alloy as the material now once this is done and i want to couple it with thermal analysis i will go to steady state thermal and I will drag and drop it over the entire body up to model. Next, I'll go to setup and double click on it. You can see here these are the results from structure analysis. And now we are shifting slowly to thermal analysis. So, this is the initial temperature of the body. So, we will give convection over the top zone first apply here I'll give the film coefficient as 500 E minus 6 watt per m square degree Celsius and the temperature here is say 250 degree Celsius Next, I'll go for this zone. Right click, insert convection. I'll give film coefficient as 700 E minus 6. And the temperature is 150. Next, I'll select these areas. Inserts okay, the film coefficient is say 500 e minus 6, 
and the temperature here is 90 and what remains is this zone I will insert convection again you will see the convection factor is 600E minus 6 and the temperature is 120. So I will go to solution and I will insert thermal temperature. Also I will insert total heat flux. I will go to solution and solve. So let's see the temperature distribution over the body. You can just animate and check your result. It will show you a variation of temperature over the body. The highest value is 166.16 degrees Celsius and the lowest value is 106.62 degrees Celsius. You can just check in which zone what is the temperature value. You can see the total heat flux over the body now. It is 0 0.46295 watt per mm square. This is the maximum value in certain areas. You can see here where the color is red. That is the maximum heat flux in those zones. And this blue indicates 0 0.000827 watt per mm square, which is the minimum value of heat flux. So that also is visible where it will be minimum. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.